What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Weekend Watch where I'm giving you all the latest box office news and updates. So it's official. We have a brand new movie at number one, which we all expected. It was time for Shang-Chi to step down and let another film take over the top spot. Now we all knew Venom 2 was going to be that movie. However, I don't think we were ready for how big this movie was going to debut. Now industry insiders were predicting around a $70 million opening. However, Venom 2 managed to eclipse that total by $20 million going over Black Widow's opening debut. Now Venom 2 is officially the largest opener for 2021 during the pandemic era. Venom 2 officially made over $90 million. That's insane. I had no prediction that this movie was going to open so big. Now this even was larger than the original Venom's opening weekend in October in 2018. That movie made $80 million and that wasn't during a pandemic. And also Venom 2 is the second largest October opener just behind Joker. Joker opened with $96 million and then Venom to with 90 million. The big question is though, can Venom 2 hold this number up? Can it still have these epic numbers? Because as we all know, as October rolls around, more movies are opening every single weekend and they're they're huge movies. No Time to Die, Halloween Kills, Dune, Last Night in Soho, all of these gigantic movies all opening around the same time. How well is Venom 2 going to hold up? Is it going to fall drastically in the following weeks? It's going to be interesting. We're going to monitor and see who's going to be number one next weekend. No Time to Die or Venom 2. In the second and third spot, surprisingly enough, I thought it was going to be Shang-Chi just going down one notch. It was The Addams Family 2 with $18 million. However, I shouldn't be so surprised because family films have been doing fairly well at the box office during this pandemic time, so that is good to see. Now, Shang-Chi did go to number three, bringing in another $6 million, bringing its overall total domestically to over $200 million, which is fantastic. In the fourth and fifth spot, we have our epic fail of the week, The Many Saints of Newark, debuted opening weekend, with only $5 million. What is the reasoning behind this? Why did it fail? We can blame the HBO Max curse. We could always do that. However, I'm thinking this was past The Sopranos Prime. The Sopranos was a little bit ago. Probably the hype has worn off and people just aren't jonesing to go and see this movie. They're over it. It's over. It's done. Do we really need to go and see this prequel? Go to the movies to see it? Probably not. Everyone wanted to go and see Venom 2. And in the fifth spot, Dear Evan Hansen is trying to hang in there with $2.4 million. It actually has made a little bit more than I anticipated it to. So congratulations, Dear Evan Hansen. So what is new at the box office this coming weekend? I already mentioned one of them. The big new release is No Time to Die. We're finally getting Daniel Craig's last outing as James Bond. This movie has been pushed back so many times. It's wonderful to see. It's finally getting released here. But if you don't want to go there, you're tired of big movies, you want something a little bit smaller, a little bit more tame, there is another movie coming out called Lamb. I have no idea what this movie is about. I've seen no advertising for it. But if it's at your local theater and it's your cup of tea, go for it. But say you've been so busy, this, this coming week is busy, and you don't want to go out, you want to stay home, you want to stream something. We always have options for you. On Netflix, there is There's Someone Inside Your House debuting on Wednesday. Over on HBO Max, we have the movie Voyagers debuting, I think, on Saturday. Then on Disney+, Plus, I mistakenly said Black Widow and the What If finale in last week's video. It's this Wednesday. So on October 6th, you can officially stream Black Widow at no extra charge. So if you've been waiting... Wednesday is your day. So Black Widow for free on Wednesday, as well as the What If finale on Wednesday. So Disney Plus has a very busy day on Wednesday. And then over on Hulu, we have an original documentary called Jacinta, as well as Rogue Hostage. So that is everything going on at the box office with news. Let me know down below what you think of all of this. Is Venom 2 going to hold up? 
or will Daniel Craig bring him down? Let me know down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.